Um, I think it's I think it's gone too far. Um, Andrea and I wouldn't be so far as to say that it's PC gone mad because I don't like the expression PC gone mad because I actually believe in political correctness and I believe to be politically correct is a nice thing and denotes decency and kindness to other people but I think that you can go too far with these things and um, in this instance I think Hank Azaria is a white actor who is doing a black voice. Um, he's not seen on screen, the uh, the voice actor. Yeah. Um, so in other words, for all intents and purposes, it could have been anybody oh, doing yeah. the voice. Um, Hank is also part of what we might call an ensemble or a troupe. In other words, uh, a group of talented actors who do many different voices. So you could be doing an Indian voice, you could be doing a Japanese voice, you could be doing a woman's voice. Um, and... Uh, and in fact, you could be a woman doing a boy's voice. So, for example, in The Simpsons, a yeah. woman does uh, does uh, does Bart's voice. Um, so I feel it is going too far because I think when you go down this road, Andrea, you introduce um, a number of problems. And the problem is probably most obviously this. If you have a person of colour in a, let's say, a radio sketch show um, or uh, just being voiced like in The Simpsons, must that character be performed by a person of similar race and colour? Um, this is a problem for me because you probably then would extrapolate from that. Well, let's say we have a Japanese person in, in The Simpsons. Must that character be voiced by a Japanese actor? Well, is that what's happening now, Mario, though? Hmm? Is that what's going to happen now off the well, back see, of this decision? Well, this is decision? what I would worry Why? that it would happen. So if you let me continue yeah. the extrapolation, you'll see where I'll get. If, for example, you have a, um, let's say an Eskimo character comes into Simpsons. Right. Must a, an Inuit actor be sourced from the uh, mountaintops of Greenland or Alaska? Uh, and then uh, relocated and his family presumably relocated to Hollywood or wherever they're shooting and so you see where I'm going with this I know yeah no, now, I, I it does do. bring in it does bring in other areas as well so for example on Gift Grub I perform uh, all characters so I perform female characters mm. and I perform male characters I also perform um, characters of mixed race like Leo Varadkar so yeah. I would ask, should I not be performing Leo Varadkar and should a, an actor of mixed race be brought in to perform Leo Varadkar? Now, I'm obviously I'm being devil's advocate here, yeah, Andrea, yeah, yeah. but I'm saying that but you see with the problems that you're getting yourself yeah. into. But the, the, I, I'm, I'm curious as to your thoughts on this. Is there a difference, though, for somebody like yourself who, you know, as an impersonator versus an actor? Is there a difference... Do, do, you, do you think there will be a no. difference? No, no don't not see at all. A and in there, fact, no. there are two different types of um, there are two different types of impressions. So, first of all, when I'm doing an impression of somebody, uh, it is my impression of somebody. It's not yours. It's mine. Okay, so, in right, other words, yeah. it's my it's my opinion baked into my impression. So, for example, uh, Richard Cooper, uh, another well-known impressionist in Ireland, may have a completely different impression of Leo Varadkar than I do. Right. Although we may be doing an impression of the same person. Um, similarly, um, I might do an impression of a woman. And I'm kind of wondering when it'll get to a stage where people go, you know, should your man Mario Rosenstock be doing impressions of women at all? Is that not taking um, work away from women actors who should be doing the voices mm. themselves? Or would other people go, nah, I prefer Mario doing Miriam O'Callaghan actually because I like him doing Miriam O'Callaghan and I like him yeah. doing Joan Burton. And I suppose then you get back to the old argument, Andrea. Do we tokenistically give jobs to people on the basis of ticking a box called diversity or do we give jobs to people based on the basis that they are the best person for the job? Mm. And this is an argument we're going to get into time after time, whether it be um, feminism or, or, or impersonation or impressions.